Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Roger, and this is your Daily Tarot Map for Monday, September 14th, 2015, using tarot to create the life you want. Well, first off, I want to thank everybody for liking these videos, for sharing them on all your social networks, for subscribing to this channel, for commenting. I really appreciate all of your support, and I appreciate you watching. So this week, we continue our work with the Tarot of Delphi, created and curated by J.D. Hildegard Hinkle. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were The One Torn Asunder, the Nine of Cups, and the Magician. So the first card in our draw is number 12 and is entitled The One Torn Asunder. Quite an intense card to be sure. Now this is the equivalent of the Wade Smith Hanged Man card and it portrays Orpheus who was torn apart by the Maenads and then tossed into the, and then, uh, who then tossed his head into the river. Now, the head was retrieved by nymphs, according to legend, and it then became an extremely powerful oracle. Uh, in fact, so powerful that it ended up silencing all the other oracles around, including the Oracle of Delphi, temporarily. So what we see here is the idea of transformation and sacrifice, often in the search for a metaphysical truth. Now, it is a, it's associated with the giving up of something, just as Orpheus gives up his human life to become something even greater, even more powerful. So thus, the appearance of this card might suggest that you're being asked to sacrifice or give up something of great value to you. Now, remember yesterday when we talked about that, that choice that some of you might be facing? Well, this card very well could, uh, could represent the implementation of that choice. So what is it that you're giving up? Well, the clue might be in our next card, the Nine of Cups, which portrays Fauna, the goddess of nature and prosperity. Um, though she has all she wants uh, and, is, uh, and is living a quite an abundant life, in my opinion, she looks kind of bored to me in this image. She's like, how hum. So sometimes when we get everything we want, we might find out that these mirrored Material things, in fact, do not bring us the happiness that they promised. Perhaps this is what is, uh, is associated with the sacrifice mentioned in the Torn Asunder card. For some of you, the endless pursuit of more and more money or more and more wealth and success may lead to a place of dissatisfaction. So let's say that you want to be a writer or an actor or even an artist, but instead decide to be a chemist or an engineer because that's where the money is, according to uh, common sense. But back in your mind, those artistic urges keep coming through. And though you might be a really good chemist or um, engineer, you may find that after a while your heart's simply not in it because this wasn't your calling. This wasn't what you really, truly wanted to do. Maybe you're really drawn to a career in the helping professions, but feel that instead you should go into business because, again, that's where the money is. So here you're asked to seriously consider what it is that you really want out of life. So if you want to be a nurse or a massage therapist or even a psychic, then you may have to give up the pursuit of wealth just for the sake of being wealthy. Now that's not to say you cannot make a decent living being a nurse or psychic or a massage therapist, for indeed you can. Speaking of psychic, I'm getting a feeling here of a spiritual search as well. Uh, especially given that Fauna is the goddess of uh, prophecy and has the ability to foretell the future. So for some of you, this might be a viable path. So in our last card, we see the illustrious magician. Once again, speaking of a mystical path, now this card certainly has appeared a lot in our readings lately. This version of Magician portrays Medea, who is focused intently on the spell that she's casting, working on manifesting her desires into reality. You know, many of us feel that what we really want to do is out of our grasp. Um, for instance, you might want to be a vet, and but feel you don't have the money to pull it off, to go back to school, so you push the dream aside. Or you might want to be a musician, but feel that there's just not enough time in your day to practice as much as you could, or should, I should say, to, uh, to accomplish this dream. So in this way, you feel that you have no choice but to pursue the practical path. 
But, you know, you always have a choice. If you really want to be a vet, then there are student loans and grants available. You could always work your way through school, uh, no matter what your age, until you're finished. Um, musician, you could set your alarm an hour earlier and practice guitar. Or turn off the TV every evening and instead spend that time practicing. See, this kind of reminds us that we're not really stuck, that we can, in fact, manifest our dreams. Now, focus and desire are the key terms here, I think. You know, with them, we can do pretty much damned near anything. So, the message today for these three cards is, Sacrifice should not be something we dread, but rather something to which we should aspire. For when we sacrifice, we give up something today for an even greater tomorrow. So today's advice card comes from the Symbolon deck, and the card drawn randomly from the deck was the ego. So what a perfectly relevant card uh, as we talk about sacrifice. For this is often the first thing that many of us need to sacrifice uh, for our dreams, our ego. Now this card suggests that we may not be putting our energies to the best use and instead of feeling fulfilled, we're feeling joyless and empty as though something's missing. Now as an advice card, the ego reminds us that Happiness is not found by being a blowhard or by being a show-off, but rather it results from expressing yourself and discovering who you really are and what you really want to be in this life. You know, once you do, you might find the strength, energy, and exuberance that you never knew you possessed. And uh, that's it for today. Um, if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button below. And uh, visit my website at tarot-dude.com where you can book a reading with me or find out all my contact information. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.